of this is frankly easier than I had thought. Hey guys, it's me. Well, here we are. It's the final episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, the full Monty. I've certainly enjoyed interacting with you via the interwebs and uh, giving you a peek backstage and around the environs here at the Walter Kerr Theater. Just wanted to show you a little more this week and uh, respond to some of the great tweets I got all of our time here um, about why theater is important. I uh, really appreciate you guys thinking about that. I, I think it's uh, a big question, and I think it's an important one to keep asking ourselves and keep talking about. And I uh, certainly appreciate you guys indulging me in that. This is so meta. We're going broadway.com on the broadway.com vlog. Are you vlogging out right I'm now? I'm vlogging in the middle of our interview. Is that That's even possible? Has this ever been done before? It's just like so meta. It's like a mirror reflecting a mirror reflecting a mirror reflecting a mirror. Who is doing the recording? Me or you? I don't. It's too deep. Who, who have we got in our group, Skylar? I want you to Judy Judy Essen, Ruthie Ann Miles, who's doing her recycling. The place cards, so you're none of these people. Having a look down the table here, we got Philippa. Who's that? It's just Chief Rivera, no problem. What do you think of our table so far, Scarlett? It's, it's not bad. I'm not quite sure why I'm here, but it's great. What are you guys going to miss most about Gentleman's Guy? Nice pickle. Oh. Other than that, what are you gonna miss most about Gentleman's Guide? I think I'm gonna miss like the live liveliness of it. When you initially saw it, what surprised you most about the show? How Jefferson um, Mays was able to make costume changes so quickly? Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing, right? What are you gonna miss most about Gentleman's Guide? The fact that I can't see it anymore. It's a great show. It's such a great score. What was so surprising to you when you first saw it? I don't know. When I heard about it, I was like, oh. Murder, but I was like, oh my god, this is a great musical. It's amazing. Are you freaking out? What are you going to miss most about Gentleman's Guy? Uh, I'm going to miss the characters. It's, the it's such moment. a wonderful show. What, great songs. The it was a lot of fun. What are you going to miss most about Gentleman's Guy? Oh my god. <laughs> um, all the characters, the set changes, not set changes, the costume changes, <laughs> and like just the craziness on stage. It was so much fun to watch. What are you going to miss most about Gentleman's Guy? Everything. Everything? The dice with family. The dice, you're gonna miss them? Yeah. What are you gonna miss most about Gentleman's Guide when we're when we close our doors? We're closing? Yeah, January 17th. Eddie. Oh god. <laughs> what are you gonna miss most about uh, Gentleman's Guide when we close Catherine Walker? The 
the silence that I'm greeted with when I walk on the stage. What's your favorite part about Gentleman's Guide? Uh, you. <laughs> What's another bit? What are you going to miss most when it's gone? Uh, all the acting and the songs and yeah. all the quick costume changes. Your facial expressions. Oh. Yes, <laughs> <Your> facial expressions. <laughs> What are you guys going to miss most about Gentleman's Guide? Um, everything. I mean everything. It's just an incredible show. We've been hearing so much about it and we were so happy when we got the tickets. We were like fifth row. Why theater and not... Why did you just, come see us instead of staying at home watching Netflix? I think I just love because the rush it's so you magic. get. It's, 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 just, it's so magical on how it just tells the story live. And anything can happen. What are you guys um, going to miss most about Gentleman's Guide when it closes? Cool show. It's a great show. Um, Great cast, great performance. The set and costumes are great. Broad I'm go with the zany antics. <laughs> zany antics. That's yes. a good answer. Broadway is going to be missing a great show. And what's your What's your favorite thing about Broadway? Like uh, just theater. Why is it important to you? Theater is important to me because I I feel like it's a really good escape from reality. I feel like it's really good to just you know go into like the dark theater for a couple hours, see, get immersed into a show completely live everything you know you can't just like pause it and it's just a great way to you know make the day better and you can't really fake live energy i think that's one of yeah. the things that really is fantastic about theater. that's very well put you can't fake live energy you have to bring it every time yeah it's very very real and it's a, it's a good escape from whatever you got going on in your day yep that's awesome Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Yay for Broadway. Hi, y'all. We're getting an early jump on Halloween, one of our favorite holidays here at G-Glam. We've got a little antics planned, so come on. Thank you. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> it's Catherine. <laughs> yes. There he is. Oh, he looks dead tired to me. Just skin and bones minus the skin. It all Monty the skin bones. Is somebody over there? <laughs> no, that's it. Oh, here. That ought to help. This is what I feel like on a two-show day. Yeah. Uh, we've had an occurrence happen backstage. I'm going in to investigate. Oh, Jordan. Yeah, all text Allison, too. Jordan? Tell me about it. I don't it. want to tell you what happened. No, tell me. Do the top. Just okay. Well, to so exhibit A. This yeah. is the Inblot eye pencil. Yep, we all have them. Yep. It's kind of a rounded marker-like. Sure. Uh, yeah. And this is the big market permanent marker. Uh -huh. Used for also, assumably signing autographs, sure. not for makeup purposes. Yeah. But I did tonight. Go right there. Went ahead and put the permanent marker on his eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wasn't getting my money's worth with this one, so I figure I'll get two, three, four months worth of this. Maybe you should <laughs> just get a permanent tattoo. So you never have. That's a great idea. We should all just get permanent eyeliner on. So we never have to have a good show, man. Me too. <laughs> Tom Galowitz writes, Live theater is important because the connection and emotion is a lot more intense and more personal than movies and TV. Couldn't agree more, Tom. Cindy Meany writes, Live theater gives me chills down my spine. The collective voices are like a lion roar. Hashtag can't get enough. Rawr, Cindy. Couldn't agree more. Katie at Katie LAF writes, Theater is important because it's live. It gives the audience a rare chance to be immersed in the story and allows them to connect more personally because they are experiencing the same emotions and reactions as the actors in real time. Additionally, theater has historically pushed the boundaries on societal expectations as ha and has been well ahead of its time on addressing issues that other mediums of storytelling are only just beginning to address. Couldn't agree more. Carolyn T. writes, theater is magical. It's a way to escape a stressful week. It's immersion from reality. It's unexpected and frustrating and beautiful. Unexpected, frustrating, and beautiful. Wow. 
That is a perfect description of theater. Couldn't agree more. Marguerite at The Pebbles Kid writes, because theater is the closest darn thing we have to magic out there. And live, everything can go wrong or right. That is so true. Theater is the closest thing we have to magic, which is why those of us keep coming back to it, uh, that do it, we can't get enough of that magic every night. People ask us, why do you do it? How do you keep it fresh? Because every night is magic and uh, everything could go wrong or right. Couldn't agree more. Leanne Santiago writes, theater transports me into another world. It makes me feel like I'm part of the world of the show I'm watching. Couldn't agree more. Le Bas Fond at Le Bas Fond writes, while I think theater is so very important, it often gets wound up on its own importance. That said, it's live and it's real. It doesn't have the benediction of multiple takes. The connection with a live audience and engagement is so very important a tangible connection. But to say it's the only true art form is disingenuous. Its realness and its immediacy and ultimately its intimacy is what makes it important. It has a responsibility as an art form to tell stories in a responsible way. Nice, nice take. I agree, it's not the only art form. And I agree, sometimes it does get a little too obsessed with its own importance. But I also agree on its immediacy and its intimacy. In fact, I couldn't agree more. As, uh, as a lot of you know, uh, Gentleman's Guide is set its closing date for January 17th. And uh, while that's a sad thing, um, you know, let's not forget that uh, this is a little show that could. And uh, the fact that we have made it this long will be um, over two years on Broadway is pretty miraculous when you think about it. And uh, while it's sad for us to, to see this show go, um, we're going to enjoy the rest of the run. And certainly having as many of you come visit us as possible um, between now and then is going to help that. So I hope you come back and see the show. Bring your friends, uh, people who haven't seen it. Um, I hope you come and see it, get a chance to, uh, to check out this special show before, before it uh, evaporates, evaporates into the mist, into the magical mist of theater shows gone by. Really appreciate you guys and all you sent uh, throughout the weeks and uh, the support you've given me on, on this little vlog adventure. Uh, maybe there'll be another one in the future, but uh, I guess this is so long for now. Away. All of this is frankly easier than I had thought.